Hey what's up YouTube, it's me Sarah and in today's video I am just going to be breaking down some skincare steps in your skincare routine and explaining kind of what they do, how often you should be incorporating them and just really laying it out there for any of you who may be starting your skincare journey and you're confused on what you should be doing and how often you should be doing it. So this is going to be a really straightforward video. I hope that this is easy to follow along and comment down below if y'all do have any questions. I would love to answer any questions that you may have regarding these steps. So first, cleanser. Cleansing helps clear out the pores within your skin so it cleans out any kind of gunk, oil buildup, debris from your skin that just naturally accumulates throughout the day, whether it's based off pollution, whether it's your own oil production contributing to it, but that's pretty natural for your pores to collect some of that gunk throughout the day. So it's extremely important to cleanse at least once a day, which is really going to help prevent acne and other skin issues. You don't have to use a crazy, stripping, harsh cleanser. A gentle cleanser like the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser will do the trick. Or if you want like a salicylic acid cleanser or a benzoyl peroxide, those are great for targeting acne if you do currently struggle with acne. The next step is incorporating a retinol or retinoid. So you can find retinol over the counter and the only retinoid that is available over the counter is adapalene. So you can use the Differin gel or other brands like La Roche-Posay have an adapalene product. So what retinol or retinoids do is that they boost your collagen production. As we get older, we start to lose collagen or our collagen starts to degrade. When you incorporate retinol or retinoid, it helps boost that production. It increases your cell turnover, getting rid of any kind of damaged cells and allowing your skin to form newer and healthier skin cells, which will eventually give you a smoother skin appearance. It helps prevent or treat acne as well and also reduces the appearance of fine lines and any kind of wrinkles. I really like to look at retinol or retinoids as a staple in a skincare routine as well because they target so many different areas whether it's anti-aging or helping treat acne. It's just an amazing ingredient to incorporate. So with retinol or retinoids, it really depends on your skin type and your skin needs. If you are just starting out with retinol maybe once a week and then you build up to every other day and then every day if your skin can tolerate it, it really depends on your skin type and what your skin can handle. The next skincare step is moisturizing. I like to moisturize twice a day but it really depends on your skin type. So you really don't have to cleanse your skin in the morning. You can actually just go ahead and go straight into using sunscreen and go about your day. However, some of you who may have oilier skin types, you do benefit from cleansing twice a day. If you are going to cleanse twice a day or rinse your face twice a day, then I do recommend moisturizing while your skin is still damp. That allows the moisturizer to penetrate a lot deeper into your skin and helps retain any kind of water. So it's really gonna retain that moisture, lock in that water, and it's gonna basically create a barrier for your skin so that your skin is nice and hydrated. The next skincare step is incorporating an exfoliating mask. Typically you do wanna do this at least once or twice a week. Exfoliating masks, especially the chemical ones, are a lot stronger than like a normal cleanser and they are gonna penetrate a lot deeper into your skin to help brighten your overall skin appearance and it helps even out your skin tone. So I like to incorporate that once or twice a week depending on what your skin can handle. Using a salicylic acid, a benzoyl peroxide, or any kind of acne fighting ingredient, it can really depend on your skin. Again, skincare is very subjective, so if you are able to tolerate using these active ingredients every day, then by all means go ahead and continue doing so if you notice that your skin responds well to that frequency. However, if you notice your skin flaking, peeling, being red, or just feeling irritated, take a break from the active ingredients. Um, and you know have your rest days where you don't really incorporate any kind of harsh acne fighting ingredients. The next skincare step is incorporating any kind of treatment serums. So treatment serums are the ones that are like 
a hyaluronic acid serum or an acne fighting serum or something that's gonna target a specific skin concern those are tricky and I really do highly recommend following the instructions on the bottle of the skincare product because it does tell you kind of generally what your skin should be able to tolerate using that kind of product but those really do help when it comes to any specific concerns you have so if you feel like you struggle with dry flaky skin um, I do recommend using maybe a hyaluronic acid serum if you live in a humid environment that can really help plump up and hydrate your skin and solve the issue of it being dehydrated um, if you struggle with dark marks or hyperpigmentation, you know, incorporating a serum with niacinamide can help control oil production and also helps lighten any dark marks that you have if your skin can tolerate niacinamide. So with those treatment serums, it really depends. Um, it can be tricky to incorporate into your skincare routine, but I like to incorporate serums on days where I'm not doing too much with my skincare, so I'm not overloading my skin with ingredient or too many products. I like to space them out throughout the week. So it really depends on the product, what the bottle says, and what your skin can handle. So those were the main skincare steps that I felt like everybody should incorporate regardless of your skin type, unless your doctor says otherwise. But those were the basic skincare steps that build that foundation for a good, solid skincare routine. Um, this was as straight up as I could be regarding them, and I just wanted to highlight the importance of each step and why you want to be incorporating them in your skincare routine if you have not done so already. But yeah, I hope that this video was helpful to y'all. If you don't know exactly what the importance is for each of these steps if you don't know how often to do it yeah I hope that this helped y'all comment down below if you have any questions if you would like me to make a video that talks about specific skincare ingredients and what they do I can also make a straight-up video about those ingredients that are very popular on the market today but thank you so much for watching everyone if you haven't already please make sure to check the description box down below I have links to related videos of mine that you may find helpful and please stay tuned I post every single Monday Thank you.